Good day. Welcome to the channel of SA Accounting County Network. Today I want to do a review with you guys on a payroll package that we've been using at our offices probably for the past um, 10 or 12 years. And um, it's a package that we've really fallen in love with over the years. And this video is not sponsored in any way. So it's just my opinion as, a, as, a, as an accountant that we are dealing with lots of small businesses every day. So I just want to share this information with you guys as well. And hopefully you will also enjoy this little package with us as well. So remember to subscribe to my channel and like the video as well. So let me give you a little bit of background first. So the payroll package that we use at our offices is called Vanilla Payroll. So we've been working with this, like I said, for about the past 10 years. And I think um, I've obviously had exposure to a lot of different payroll packages over the years. And I can by far say that it's probably one of the most user-friendly packages that I've worked with in the past. <clears throat> so in this... Um, videos i'm going to be doing a series on this vanilla payroll so i'm going to be doing one obviously the video that you're looking at today is a quick review on the package then i'm going to be doing a video on the downloading and the installing of the package on your computer we will be doing one we're going to look at adding a company to the package itself how to add an employee to the package and then we're going to be talking about monthly procedures and year in procedures so that is the series of the videos that i'm going to be doing with you guys so um so let me first start off quickly just by, by by what i like about the package i think one of the things that stand out by far is just the, the ease of use of the package you know i've worked with a lot of different packages over the years and i found that that um it is sometimes really difficult to change something if you if you if you don't understand it to try and figure out how it works um so i think the one thing is the ease of use i will show you just now quickly i'm going to run through the program with you quickly as well and i think one of the things as well is the ability to edit certain information so i'll show you this now but if you load a base up onto the package and you see for some reason you made a mistake you can always go back and, and roll back that base up and then redo it again but there are certain limits to how much you can actually redo um i know some of the other um, payroll packages as well as soon as you You've, you've processed the payslip and the payslip is on the system and you want to change anything then you actually have to phone them and then they have to do it from their side to change that information and normally there's like consulting fees and stuff like that as well involved with that as well so that is one thing that i really love about this package is the ability that you can edit stuff i think another big advantage that i really like about the package is that um, it's very reasonably priced and i actually spoke to the director of the company um, a while ago and she said that they are running a promotion at the moment we actually have the first three months that you that, that it's free that you actually don't need to pay for the package so you can download the package onto your computer um, do your pay subs they give you support and all this stuff as well for a period of three months and then only after three months if you really do like it then you obviously have to pay for your accounting package another thing that i really love about the package is the way that the setup works so it's a very straightforward process i'll be doing a separate video on the setup of how to add companies and how to add employees so that is a really nice way the way that it is set up but i'll show you just now as well and then i think the other thing that i really like about vanilla payroll as well as the support um you know some of your bigger payroll companies you know if you Firstly, you need to have the support package with those guys before they would actually help you in any way. And then the second thing is that you work through a call center, um, which sometimes makes it very difficult because, you know, every time when you speak to somebody, you're actually speaking to somebody else. We have vanilla payroll is a much smaller type of a company, which makes it personal. So you actually get to build a relationship with the guys at vanilla payroll, so which is really, really nice. I think the another nice thing that I love about Vanilla Payroll is that they bring out regular updates as well. So every time when something changes, then they will send you an email through or notification to say that there's an update on the payroll. And then as soon as you update the payroll information or the payroll package, then you've got the latest, latest information. Just an example is when we were going through the coronavirus pandemic, um, the UIF started paying out those TERS, TERS benefits. So that's one thing. They sent out a notification to say, listen, there's an update on the payroll. So as soon as you download, downloaded the, the, the update, then you could actually process payslips that showed those UIF2's benefits as well. The other thing that I really love about the package as well 
is that it integrates with the Department of Labor. So you can actually do UIF returns from the payroll package as well, where you can email the Department of Labor an electronic file where they can then update the UIF information on a monthly basis. And also with workman compensation, where you can actually run a report on the payroll program itself, where you can get your information for workman compensation for those returns. So I think that is also a real big benefit to me about this account, uh, about the payroll package. And then the other thing that I love about it as well, is just the, the, the whole way that the year-end procedures work on the payroll, because it's very easy to pull your RP files off the system, your year-to-date report, your master files of all your clients, um, it's got a function where you can actually export a little file and then you take that little file and import it into the SASH program which they call Easy File to generate your, your annual EMP501 submission. So that is a really nice function that they've got. And then I think also the other thing that I love is once you um, finish one year on your payroll package, to take that data from one year over to the next year is really nice because you download the program for the next year and as soon as you download it once, part of the process that asks you whether you want to import the data from the previous year, so as soon as you import the data, then you will have all the employees on that payroll package as well. So then you can just continue from the new year and just add the payslips <coughs> to that package. So I think that is in a nutshell what I really love about this package, but you can try it out for yourself. I'll be doing some other tutorials as well where I will show you guys, like I said, exactly how to download and install the package, how to add companies to it, how to add employees, how to do monthly procedures, and then obviously how to do your year-end procedures as well. But let me shoot down to my computer, then I can give you guys a quick walkthrough so you can actually see how the package works. So the first thing that I want to share quickly is just if you go to the website, it's called vanillapayroll.com. So you can see this is what the website looks like. And you can see over there is the little thing link that says download your free version today. So I will be doing a talk on this to how to, to go through the process to download the, the, the program, to run the installation, and then how to register your, your, your program. Then you can see... And let me just move my picture out of the way. Then you can see that there is the contact us page as well. So if you guys do need to get in touch with them for some reason, then you can see that there is a call center number or number that you can phone them on, email addresses, and then you can get in touch with the guys there from Vanilla Payroll. So this is um, where you will get all your um, information <coughs> to download the, the little program but let me show you quickly what the program looks like so on your desktop you will have a little icon that says vanilla payroll so as soon as you run the payroll program then it opens up like this <clears throat> so the first option you've got there is to open your package to upgrade your pack package to exit and then to backup and restore so that is also a really nice function that the payroll package has is that you can actually make backups of your data so once you finish doing a payroll for the month you press backup and restore put that back up in a separate file, maybe like on the memory stick or something, lock it away. And then if something does go pear shaped with the program or with your computer, then you can always just restore your data. So that is also really nice. <clears throat> so once you open the package, you can see it will give you a list. So if you've got different companies that you're doing payrolls for, you will have a list of all the different companies for the purpose of what we're doing. I just added the SA Accounting Network there as a, as, as a company, and then I say select. So you can see this is what the payroll package then looks like once you start working on it. So you will be welcomed by this screen over here, where it will give you a list of all the employees. You can see I'm employee number one, and you can see I just ran a test over here, so you guys can just see how it will work. But at the top, you've got the button there to add employees, to edit employees, to delete employees, to terminate employees, to transfer employees. We'll talk about that just now. Or late in one of the videos, doing batch runs, batch pay slips, and your reports, which is really important. Remember just now, I talked about the UIF Department of Labor. So there's a little button where you will be doing UIF returns and if you want to do an upgrade of the package. So if you had to look at the employees itself, you can see obviously here will be a list of all the different employees. So if I just look at myself <clears throat> and there's will be all your information, you will put your name, surname, and what the employment status is. If you want to put in a company number over there, we will run through all this stuff just now. <clears throat> or one of the other videos you can see there's a paste of profile where you can put the information in about the the, <clears throat> the salary, leave and overtime. So you can see over here you can put in all the information about the leave, what they're entitled to leave. The sick leave, unpaid leaves is a really nice place where you can keep record of all the different things. There's a little thing about the overtime, which we will touch on later as well. 
you can see over here is the pay slips so just to give you a quick show so if i want to look at that pay slip and i said edit so this would be the screen that you would be working on when you're doing pay slips so just if you want to maybe add something you can press the add button if you want to say that this person worked um, let's say for instance earned some form of income then you would um, choose whatever which one it is so let's say for instance independent contractors and then i would say select <clears throat> i would pay say that i earned twenty thousand rand or twenty thousand save and you can see then it does the whole calculation for you you can save your pay slip over there you can say print pay slip and then it will open up the screen like this so then you can have a look and see what the actual pay slip will look like that you would be giving out to your employees so you will print this pay slip it will give you here you can see is a gross remuneration and a year to day totals so you can see exactly what the person earned for the period you can see what leave he's got left over his annual leave sick leave family responsibility leave if there were any loans balances of loans so it actually gives you a lot of information a lot of useful information about your employees and then the last tab over there would be your year to date total so this <clears throat> is really relevant especially if you start using a payroll program halfway through the year then you would need to add the year to date totals in there otherwise your tax calculations is going to be wrong so this is just a quick overview um, of what the payroll program can do and remember I told you just now that you can always go and edit information so there's the edit button so if you want to change anything on a payslip you can do it over there and then it also has the option to roll back payslip so if you did one payslip then there's a little button that says roll back last payslip and then you can actually reverse that payslip and then reload it again but I will be doing a separate talk on that I just want to just give you guys a quick overview of what the program actually looks like um, once again remember to subscribe to my channel like the video as well go check out the website of these people they're really really good and once again like i said this video is unsponsored in any way it's just something like i said that we've been using over the probably the past 10 years at our practice and that we we found that works really really well hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll be in touch thanks for watching